News at 6 starts right now. Live from your local news leader, this is NBC 10 News at 6. The big event to help beautify Louisiana Tech after Thursday's tornado. Our Anna McAllister takes us to the event and a local store is raising money to support the family of the Balcomville drowning victim. For us, it wasn't much of a catwalk and today struck your mud, but the runway was full of calls for a good cause. Hello and thank you for joining us on this beautiful Saturday evening. I'm Bria Jones. Chelsea is off for the weekend. Topping our news at 6, the Ruston community comes together to clean up after the deadly tornado that ripped through the area Thursday. Tons of volunteers met up at Louisiana Tech to push the effort. NBC 10's Anna McAllister captured it all this morning. There were no shortage of helping hands at Louisiana Tech Saturday. Hundreds of volunteers rallied around the school, working together to sift through the debris left behind by the tornado. A lot of our students, a lot of our faculty and staff were, were definitely affected, um, of course the community in general. Several parts of the campus severely damaged. Large trees and parts of the school itself torn down by the powerful winds. But Louisiana Tech and the surrounding community unified to pick up the pieces. People from all over the area have shown up to help Rustin in their time of need. We even have Techie here, the school's mascot, who's here to show people what they can do to get through a hard time. For many volunteers, the damage of the storm hits close to home. My friend called me at around 3 a.m. and he asked me whether he could stay at my dorm because his house had had a tree fall on top of it and that's when it became real to me. The deadly storm was unexpected, which makes dealing with the aftermath that much more difficult. It was a sickening feeling to know that all of that happened and there wasn't anything to prepare for it or, you know, so many people were being put out of their homes. But students, staff, and other community volunteers joined together during a time when the city needs it the most. I ask that, you know, that we keep on staying encouraged and keep on helping others and just being there for each other because that's what it's about. Go Bulldogs! Woo! Reporting in Ruston, Anna McAllister, NBC 10, your local news leader. The volunteering will continue around campus and the Ruston community until cleanup is complete. Missing that phone call in the morning or girl, the latest gossip or whatever. <laughs> Just girl talk. I'm going to miss that. Shavondalyn Butler has had to come to peace quickly with losing her sister and her nephew in Ruston's tornado. Kendra and Remington Butler were killed when the winds brought down several trees onto their home. Kendra's older son, Cameron, and Shavondalyn's daughter, Sanaya, were trapped too. It's like, wow. And for Cam to rescue Sanaya, pull her from under, but then to try to go back. And he's upset because he tried to save his mama and his brother, but he couldn't. And... You know, that tears me up every day. Siobhan now will see Cameron through to high school graduation. Kendra Butler had gone back to Grambling to get her master's. Remington was a freshman at Ruston High. A funeral home in Shreveport is covering all costs of the services. There's also a GoFundMe account linked to myarklamist.com raising money to send Cameron off to college and replace what he lost in the storm. In New at 6, Louisiana State Police have identified two of the three people killed in a head-on collision Friday evening. In Bastrop, troopers say the two-car crash happened just before 6 p.m. on L.A. Highway 3051. According to state police, in 1997, Chevrolet Monte Carlo, driven by 37-year-old Jonathan Smith, was traveling northbound when the car crossed the center line and hit a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze driven by James Tulos. After the impact, Smith's car went into a ditch and caught on fire. Officials say Smith and his passenger, as well as Tulos, all died on the scene. A toxicology sample was obtained for testing. The crash remains under investigation. 
and a grief-stricken community coming together to raise money for the family of a 13-year-old drowning victim. S&J Farm and Feed hosted a fundraiser event for Sebastian Martinez, the boy who drowned earlier this month during recent flash flooding in Falconville. Attendees were able to participate in raffles and could purchase food plates for $10 each. The proceeds helped Sebastian's family rebuild after his sudden death. I think it's something good for the community to get together and remember Sebastian, you know, and um, just show that his family that we're here for their support. There was also a bounce house and live bands performing for attendees to enjoy. If you're interested in donating to Sebastian's family, contact management at SNJ Farm and Feed in West Monroe. And another fundraiser also happening this morning, this time for our furry friends, Animal Lovers United in Caroli Park for the Stretch Your Mutt event. Dogs of all different shapes and sizes attended the family-friendly event. There were several different vendors there, all that help in some way shelter animals. It's an event focusing on raising money and awareness to build a new shelter. The old one is over 50 years old. It is run down and beyond repair at this point. And we are trying to build a new shelter and get state-of-the-art drainage and what the pets need. The pets were able to walk around the park and as you can see, strut their stuff. Each participant was awarded their own gold medal and proceeds from the event went to the shelter. And coming up on NBC 10 News at 6, some Eldo Junior golfers are leaving their mark on this weekend's tournament. In a unique way, they've got one pro golfer's attention. And don't go anywhere. We're talking St. Jude Dream Home after the break. And uh, we're going to continue to see drier conditions through uh, the remainder of the weekend into next week, but rain chances will return. We'll time out all the details coming up when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Spring break from high prices. It's the spring sales of the interstate in West Monroe. A Grand Cherokee, 9,000 off. A Ram Bighorn Crew Cab, 33,990. A Wrangler Sport, 27,990. A Quad Cab, 22,990. A Jeep Renegade, 15,990. A Dodge Journey, 15,990. A Fiat Pop, 12,990. A 3,500 Larry Crew, 4x4, 12,000 off. Shop interstatedodge.com. Get spring savings now at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. What does it mean to mow with an attitude? It means zero turns and full throttle. It's the power of 38 horses in a town of 10,000 people. It's like American Muscle got a PhD in rocket science. It's backing up your bark with serious bite. It's blood, sweat, and blades. What does it mean to mow with an attitude? Take a seat and find out for yourself. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. Get the six-minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC10. Keeping you and your family safe. Brought to you by Eorum Young Law, the bankruptcy specialist. The best sounds you hear in a roadhouse doesn't always come from the jukebox. Introducing Logan's new sizzling steak for two. Share a tender one-pound tri-tip sirloin with your choice of appetizer and two sides for just $13.99 each. Only at Logan's Roadhouse. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. Chevy Truck Month continues and this deal gets stronger. Get a total value of over $6,000 on this all-new Silverado. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $3,500 when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The best sounds you hear in a roadhouse doesn't always come from the jukebox. Introducing Logan's new sizzling steak for two. Share a tender one-pound tri-tip sirloin with your choice of appetizer and two sides for just $13.99 each. Only at Logan's Roadhouse. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page.
Over in South Arkansas, three junior golfers in El Dorado will be making a small debut in this weekend's Symmetra Tour. Professional golfer Salma Rochelle partnered with the local kids in golf organization. She invited you to submit a unique design for the saddle of her golf shoes. Their sketch will be featured on the shoe for her to wear throughout the tournament. The winners were Hope Walthall, John Hollis, and Maya Blanton. The pro golfer wanted to have a fun way to get the youth involved in the tournament. I'm 50% excited, and I'm 50% happy about it. So I was speechless. I, I didn't know what to say because I'm not used to, like, winning things. I'm pretty excited. The youth will be Rochelle's guests throughout the Symmetra Tour. The designs will be sold online at Jack Grace USA. A portion of the proceeds will go to the local kids and golf organization. And time is running out to get tickets for the St. Jude Dream Home. We've got less than 700 tickets left, folks. Breco Construction built this year's home in Monroe's Egret Landing. $100 buys you the chance at a home worth $450,000. Get your tickets by calling 800-726-9874 or go to myarklamis.com and click on the St. Jude Dream Home tab under the Community tab. And take a look at some video we shot today of people out and about touring the Dream Home. I mean, Brian, doesn't that look amazing? We caught up with one ticket holder who says it's just not about winning the home but supporting St. Jude. It, it means a lot to me because, you know, I just had a loved one to leave about a month ago. And then something like this, you know, you help the less fortunate ones. And it'll be a blessing to help someone that needs it. And such a beautiful day to tour the Dream Home. I mean, Brian, what will the weather be like for tomorrow's open house? Well, uh, you know, not as great as what we saw today. We'll see a little bit more of an increased cloud cover, but it will eventually move out, and uh, but bigger rain chances are on the way. Time out all the details coming up next when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. Only your Cub Cadet dealer, Yard Power, has genuine parts, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. And right now, get $100 off select XT Enduro Series lawn tractors. I'm Charles Hogan with the Hogan Agency, specializing in insurance, bonding, and safety services, supporting individuals, families, and businesses. Visit us on Ask the Experts on MyArklamis.com. This is Fred. He's dancing like nobody's watching. And because all of the devices on Fred's Wi-Fi network are protected with Xfinity X-Fi, literally nobody's watching. Except the millions of you, of course. Oh, wait. Millions of people are watching? Yeah. We're making a commercial. If it's connected, it's protected with Xfinity X-Fi. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $30 a month for 12 months. Plus, add X-Fi Advantage for enhanced network security. Click, call, or visit a store today. When severe weather threatens the Arklamas, turn to the station that has the tools and the team to keep your family safe. NBC 10, your local news leader. We just made the stress of your commute disappear. Introducing the all-new, impossibly smart Nissan Altima with Pro Pilot Assist. It's groundbreaking tech that takes the stress out of heavy highway traffic by helping you stop and start without touching a pedal. Experience Pro Pilot Assist, now available on four of our most popular models. For a limited time, save $2,000 or get a low $239 per month lease on the 2019 Nissan Altima. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Join the madness. More House Made Madness. May 4th on the square in Bastrop. There's live music, food vendors, art exhibits, an ATV exhibit, a pet pageant parade, a baseball tournament, a golf scramble, a classic car exhibit, antique tractors, a kid's zone, face painting, clothing and jewelry vendors, handcrafted items, and much, much more. Admission is free. Bring the whole family. May 4th to More House Made Madness in historic downtown Bastrop. Go to morehousemademadness.com for more information. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Oram Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs.
Well, good Saturday afternoon to you. Hopefully you enjoyed the beautiful weather that we had across the Arc Limits today. Here's a quick recap of the tornado reports that we did have from April 25th here. And uh, really the only change that I have to pass along if uh, it wasn't updated yesterday, the EF2 tornado in LaSalle Parish. Uh, that was confirmed as an EF2 by the National Weather Service. Six total tornadoes, one being that very destructive one in Ruston. So our thoughts and prayers continue to be with those folks all across the Arc Limits as uh, effort, cleanup efforts continue to uh, stick, stick with us. Us through the as we go through the future. So, but a good thing we did get a beautiful day weather-wise across the Arc Limits and uh, helped out with those efforts here. You can see a little bit of cloud cover though off towards the northwest here. Temperatures in the lower 80s, so really, really not too bad. Dew points are in the upper 50s too. So, not only is it nice outside, but it's pretty comfortable considering how humid it could be. Temperatures across the Arc Limits generally in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Looks like Greenville's our cooler spot at the 77 degrees and a little bit warmer down in Natchitoches at 83. So, kind of just a uh, another fairly typical late. April day here and uh, just what we needed as uh, we will take all the nice days that we can get. Washita River just a quick check on the level here still hovering just below major flood stage here and as you can see really not expecting too much in the way of change. Uh, we do have rain chances on the way as we head in the upcoming week which uh, it'll be interesting to see what that happens to the graphic. Live storm tracker Doppler radar really not showing too much considering that we do have high pressure over us but you can see by our satellite and radar here there is a little bit of weak shower activity so you can see on the sky Cam that there was some thick cloud cover off towards the northwest. It'll be interesting to see if any of the shower activity is actually reaching the ground as the drier, the lower levels of the atmosphere are fairly dry. But uh, active pattern going to be setting up here. Going to be bringing more weather to Texas and Oklahoma as we go through the upcoming week. But uh, not going to be doing too much for us here in the meantime. So uh, get into Monday, Tuesday again. Just some periods of clouds, and uh, we'll have a few showers for Tuesday. That's when the rain chances will start to kind of work their way back into the forecast. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's going to be a wet week as uh, we go into next week. So tonight going to be in the uh, 60s. Tomorrow uh, going to have possibly an isolated shower as that front continues to push through the Arklam is here. So uh, really not going to. Most of us will be dry. That's why I want to get the point across here as we. Uh, go through Sunday. So Monday, actually, Monday and Saturday, looking like the driest days for the seven-day forecast here. But then those shower chances return for Tuesday, continuing Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. Looks like the best chance will continue for Thursday. Not looking too great for severe weather, which is good news. More coming up after the break with Chris Demersion. Keep it here. Hi, I'm Ken with Ken's Coffee Service, your local office coffee and filtered water cooler specialist. Now offering your chief whole home water purification system. Look us up on myarklemist.com. Take a spring break from high prices. It's the spring sales about at Interstate in West Monroe. A Grand Cherokee, 9,000 off. A Ram Bighorn Crew Cab, 33,990. A Ragnar Sport, 27,990. A Quad Cab, 22,990. A Jeep Renegade, 15,990. A Dodge Journey, 15,990. A Fiat Pop, 12,990. A 3,500 Larry Crew, 4x4, 12,000 off. Shop interstatedodge.com. Get spring savings now at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. With the all new KTVE KARD weather app. And it's free. Download your app today and see what Jared sees in real time. Download to the street where you live the KTVE KARD weather app for iOS and Android. Brought to you by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. News, weather, and sports. Follow us on the KTVE NBC 10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. In every Honda is the soul of a race car, and at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event, you can take some of it home. With a Honda CRV, pretty cool. Or a Honda HRV. And they each come with sport mode. Speaking of something with a kick, I could really use an espresso. Huh. Guess it only works on cars. Get a great deal on a Honda CRV, awarded the 2019 Best SUV Brand by US News and World Report at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Get your mower going. Head out to the high grass. Wash your lawn and garden. Get the tools to do it fast. Now up to April 30th, get up to a $500 Citibank prepaid Visa card. Plus, no interest if paid for within 12 months or 0% interest for 36 months. At Washita Lawn and Garden, we help you make the right cut because we are Xmark. Now, your local sports with Chris Demersion. Busy. 
this Kicking against things Fort off in the 4A. Third seeded West Washington taking on ninth seeded Buckeye. And the story of this one was the defense by the Lady Chiefs. Pop up down the first baseline and check out Ashlyn Roach making the catch going into the fence. Shelby Carson getting her usual start on the mound and she was dominant. Gets the strikeout right there. She threw a one hitter. The Panthers down to their final out and Carson forces the pop up. And that'll do it. After so many years of being so close, West Washita finally gets it done. They are your 4A state champs, three to nothing. Your final. But it's, it's a great feeling. It's it's just so rewarding to see these girls, all their hard work, uh, pay off. Um, it's indescribable. We finally got the monkey off our back, and I've never felt this way before in my life. Over in the 2A now, and this might have been the game of the day. Third seeded Mangum taking on fourth seeded Kinder. Lady Dragons would take the early lead after the RBI fielder's choice by Grace Underwood scores Cam Nethery. Take it to the bottom of seventh now. Mangum down two with the bases loaded before this. Netherly slaps that one to center for the two RBI single, and we are tied up. Very next batter, Underwood, coming through in the clutch with the walk-off in the state championship, and Mangum takes a thriller, nine to eight-year final. In 1A, for the third straight year, it was LaSalle taking on Oak Grove, and Oak Grove was going to work early at the plate. Madison Crow sends that to the one to the wall for an RBI double as Marissa Smith comes on in to score. And once Oak Grove got the lead, it was all about their defense. Taylor Snow sends a shot to the gap in right center, but check out Jenna Lamb with the catch of the tournament. And if that wasn't good enough, they would do it again the very next inning. Snow again with a deep shot, but this time it's caught up against the wall in center by Amber Sullivan as she's able to hold on. And Oak Grove repeats as 1A state champs, 10 to 4 your final. Division 5 title now. Top seeded Claiborne Christian in a battle with second seeded Northside Christian. Third inning, and the Lady Crusaders were down four before Riley Turner sends that one to right. That'll score Anna Head on the RBI single. Fast forward to the six now, and they're tied up at 15s before Turner again sends this one to left. It's deep enough for Bailey Ishii to tag up and score the go-ahead run. And Claiborne Christian holds on, and they are your Division V state champs, 18 to 15 the final. Class C title, second-seeded Calvin taking on top-seeded Plainview, and this ended up being a rough one for the Lady Cougars. Pop fly down the first baseline is deep enough for a sack fly to score Allie Willis. A couple of batters later, and Chloe Fee knocks that one to left for an RBI single, and a great season for Calvin comes to a disappointing end, nine to five year final. All righty, thanks, Spencer. More from him at 10 o'clock. The regional round of the high school baseball playoffs continues. Few area teams have a chance to advance this afternoon. Starting in 5A, fifth seed West Monroe and number 12, Hodden. Reb pitcher Lane Little throwing heat early on. He would go on to retire back to back batters in the third inning. How about that? Just looking nasty. Home half of the fourth. Runner on second for West Monroe, Zach Martin. This goes to right field, but check this out. Under the glove of the outfielder, Caden Pierce, son of a Tom Morris. He would score. Martin triples. It's 1-0. Soon, Rebel on third base for Reed Eason. Laces this to left. That plays Cade Pitter. They're up 2-0. West Monroe blinks Houghton by six. They advance to play Zachary in the next round. Across the river, 8 c Neville hosts number nine Salmon. Tigers down one in the third inning until MD Tally with two on. Bounces this to the infield. Now it's a ground out, but it's still kind of good because Brett Batterford scores. We're all knotted up at one. Later in the frame, Todd Stewart waits at third base. Andrew Cable says, let's bring you on home. This goes to left field. Now despite the out, Stewart able to tag and give Neville the 2-1 lead. Salmon wins this game, but Neville is eliminated with a 9-4 loss in the second battle. In Division 4, the top dog, OCS, hosts 16 seed St. Martin Episcopal. Eagles down 4-3 in the third. Crew Wilson lines us a third off the bag, goes into left field. Hunter Herring slides home. We're all tied up. Wilson still waits at second base. Gavin Shepard cranks this to left field. Wilson races home. OCS to score a lot, like a lot more, like 19 runs. They win 19-4. Sacred Heart in the second round. 
More scores. Rustin falls in game two, seven to four. Game three going on right now. West Washita over Bo Shin by 10. Sterlington advances with a 14 to one win. Still waiting for a Gina score. Winfield an 11 three winner. They await the winner of Mangum and Lorville. Still waiting for that score, by the way. Still waiting for a Delhi Charter. We're waiting for a lot of scores today, by the way. Shudrin and Pitkin just get underway in the first inning. Still waiting for the Harrisonburg score. And Cedar Creek would advance after their 4 nothing win. They meet Ascension Catholic next round. Jalen Ferguson had so much to prove these last few months. The NFL rescinded his invite to the NFL Combine, if you recall. Scouts criticized his cone drill during Louisiana Tech's Pro Day for whatever reason. Regardless, a packed house in Ruston for the defensive ends draft party last night. Everyone, teammates, coaches included, waited in anticipation. But in the third round, Ferguson was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens with the 85th pick overall. I feel good. Get reunited with my teammate uh, Kenneth Dixon right now. So I'm happy right now. I'm ready to go. What did uh, Kenneth say to you? He said, welcome. Time to be a Raven. Flock up. So let's go. Go to Baltimore tonight. More after the break. The Bayrank Shrine Circus Mystery Seat Contest comes to the Monroe Civic Center Saturday, May 4th, 10 a.m. performance only. If you're sitting in a lucky seat in intermission, you could win great prizes from these fine sponsors. So don't miss it. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. Chevy Truck Month continues, and this deal gets stronger. Get a total value of over $6,000 on this all-new Silverado. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $3,500 when you finance with GM Financial. See your super Chevy dealer today. I found out about the orthopedic specialist at the Franklin Medical Center when I broke my collarbone. Found out that I had a fracture and that I would need to see an orthopedist. It went smoothly. Everyone was very friendly. They were very helpful. The doctor took time to sit and talk to me and explain the issues. The easiest appointment I think I've ever had. We're so lucky to have something like that here at the orthopedic clinic. Toyota Highlander, the best seats in the house. Right now, get $2,500 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on a sophisticated new 2019 Highlander. Toyota, let's go places. We've got the bases covered this season with all the local Little League action. Catch it on League Lights, Tuesday on NBC10 News Today and NBC10 Sports at 6. League Lights, brought to you by Spartan Adventure Park. Oh, we'll have a weak cold front move through tonight, maybe an isolated shower, but clouds will clear through the remainder of the day. High pressure, nice for Monday, then an active jet stream pattern sets up for the remainder of the week. Bringing showers and thunderstorms, best chance for Thursday. Low and severe weather potential with that, so there's good news. Keep it updated as we get closer to Thursday. High pressure moves back in by the time we get to the weekend. And I'm joined by a very special guest here. This is my dad. He is a retired Navy meteorologist as well. So, uh, oh, really? yeah, thank you for your I service. Yes, thank thank you. you for your service. Please sit over here. I want to say something for you. So, <laughs> please sit over Okay, fun fact, real quick. Tell us something about you. Uh, just very <laughs> proud of my son for living his dream and chasing his passion. And got a lot of embarrassing stories, but not nearly. No. Sure, we have time. Okay, well, thank you.